Yo, what's going on, guys? It's the T D G two thousand here. Chilling. Times it. It's like two o'clock in the morning. Just chilling. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little update. Has it been been a little while? I think the last time I talked to you guys was when my PlayStation was banned. Um, this was a little while ago. Um, obviously I'm banned now. <laughs> um, I've been streaming a lot of Borderlands two. Um. After B Cad and Edward sometimes joins us now, he will be our fourth. Uh, when we go play Borderlands 3 when it drops in September 13th, I believe it was. Sometime in September. Um, but yeah, so he's kind of joining us sometimes with Borderlands 2, which is awesome. Helps out a lot. Getting shit done a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah. I think I streamed my 11th part today. Um, hopefully you guys can check that out. Hit the post notification bell. All that so you guys know when I'm streaming. And shit like that. Yeah. But really. Been into a lot of games. I've actually started work. I started Wednesday. Which was about four days ago now. Five days since it's Sunday. Early. Early. Early morning. <laughs> um. But yeah, it's a good job. Right now, I'm just uh, temporary. I will be hired on after I hit like 500 plus hours. Um, so I still got about two and a half months-ish. Um, I've been getting a lot of overtime. On my first day of work, I actually had two hours of overtime. But since it was Wednesday, it won't really count for uh, the extra. I believe I get 20 bucks an hour when I hit that overtime, which is really fucking good. But right now, base pay is 13 at a warehouse um pretty much what i'm doing now it's an air conditioning um pretty much they sell a whole bunch of air conditioning parts um, i get a list of the order go pick from our aisles and palletize it wrap it all up and get it ready to go not a difficult job a little bit of brain power a little bit of heavy lifting i would, used to be a furniture mover so nothing really new to me um Probably the hardest part is just memorizing where everything is. And once I get faster and know where everything is, is it will be a lot easier to go pick. And once I get better at um, palletizing and all that, I'll be doing shit like that. Actually, my third day on the job, I was using the forklift. It's pretty fun um, to use. Um, so, yeah, getting used to the forklift and shit. Um, <clears throat> So it's a good job, but yeah, so on my first day I had two hours of overtime, uh, pretty much just worked two extra hours, uh, make sure everybody got out on time. Uh, Thursday, had about 30 minutes, was able to get out early, and then Friday, uh, we had a lot, a lot, a lot of orders for Monday, so um, I actually work with my stepdad, um, and if we didn't get shit done, he would have to come on Sunday, and I know that would have sucked for him. That would have sucked for my mom, because they would have been there for like six hours. Um, so obviously, they don't care. I'm a great fucking worker. They already know. Even though I'm new, and I'm a little bit slower, uh, just because I'm new. It was literally first fucking three days of work. But I was at least catching on very quick. Um, second day, I was literally doing, doing shit by myself. First day, it was just pretty much training. I was with Jason, my stepdad, I was with him. Uh, pretty much, he was just showing me around. I was helping him with his orders and all that. And uh, getting shit done pretty quick, the two of us. He was just showing me around and shit. Uh, but yeah, second day, they pretty much just sent me on my own. And I did pretty fucking well. But Friday, I feel like I really kicked ass. Um, really kept good fucking pace. I got about five orders done in my seven hour work day and um i was doing pretty good um i feel like the palletizing is just probably one of the hardest um right now that a little bit slows me down but i'm getting used to it uh, that kind of comes from experience from being a furniture mover like putting shit into a box except i'm working with bigger shit and i gotta make sure I'll have like three, four, five levels of shit, and uh, yeah, but it's a fun job, I'm liking it, next week, 
um, I'll definitely be getting some overtime. I will definitely have some overtime on my check. My next check is going to be a fat one, and I am very excited. Um, by my next check, I'll be able to get a new fucking car. Um, so that'll be awesome. Um, well, not a new car, but used at least a decent one, you know. But, um, <clears throat> so yeah, job's good and all that. Um, usually get off three to five ish. If we get slammed, usually we'll be out by five, five, five the latest. But, um, yeah, so that's fun. But let's get into video games. Um, uh, but been streaming a lot of Borderlands, uh, two. When I'm done with Borderlands 2, um, if they have dedicated servers for Borderlands 1, because right now uh, the Game of the Year edition does not, so hopefully by the time we're done with Borderlands 2, they will. If not, I will play through uh, Borderlands ta uh, Tales from the Borderlands, which um, I will live stream that, and just hopefully I can get an episode done in one stream, so I will be trying to do that. Um, that hopefully by then we can play some Borderlands 1 hopefully get the pre-sequel done before Borderlands 3 comes out um, so I have 3 games to go through Tales really, really easy just probably about two, 2 hours and 30 minutes each episode um, so yes Spider-Man is actually done right now uh, the last part for the DLC 3 came out um, if ever there's new skins, I will go back and just showcase them for a little quick video. But for right now, that game is over until Spider-Man 2 comes out, which can't wait for that game because Spider-Man 1 was awesome. Can't wait for them to improve some things, uh, and shit like that. But right now, today, or yesterday, I guess, uh, the first part of the final season dropped of The Walking Dead. Really love that game. Uh, right now I have up to season three, and they actually come out in acts. There's three acts per, so there's going to be four parts for each episode, <clears throat> the three acts, and then episode four will be me going back and getting the extra trophies that I missed. Uh, you guys will see. Um, episode one I did a little bit fucked up, so um, 100%, which is episode four of uh or part four of episode one will be a little bit longer because I kind of fucked up. Um, but episode two and episode three will be a lot shorter video because <clears throat> I got my groove on and shit like that. It's a lot different from any other Telltale game. There's collectibles. Um, there's separate paths that you need to take for trophies. So it's pretty cool about that. Um, so you'll see. So we will be uploading that and be finishing that. So that's cool. Um, probably the next uh, let's play I'll be doing is finish uh, doing Uncharted 1. <clears throat> I already have, I think, about three to four uh, parts done. So I will be running through that soon, as soon as I'm done with The Walking Dead, which I got to do that soon. Um, get all that done, and it will be Gucci. Um, let's see. So, yeah. You know, after The Walking Dead, probably be Uncharted. And let's see, let's see. Let's talk about games I'm playing. Actually, if you're seeing this video, I probably should have mentioned this at the start. If you're seeing this video, I will be live streaming right now, playing For Honor. I will be doing training, going through the story mode because it was free for, um, shit, what month are we? We're in March. So it will be free, uh, it was free for April, or fuck, it's April, it will be free, it was free for March, God, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little tired, and I just put it, put it into my library, wasn't sure if I was going to be playing that, wasn't sure if I was going to be playing that, but my squad has been kind of on that recently. And I just want to say I am terrible at the game. Uh, so I really want to get better, do the training. God, this black is fucked up. Every time, Sometimes when I take a hit, tobacco comes back to my throat. That's just nasty. Um, 
But yeah, I thought that game was gonna be easy when I played it, but apparently not. It's a very non-casual friendly game. You really gotta know the combos, know the moves, and there's a lot of shit to pay attention to. Um, but the game's fun. I rage a lot. I get very mad at that game. Some people just literally do the same fucking attacks. If you ever played the game, um, there's some characters that literally just spam light attack until you're dead. Uh, they'll literally just hit one button, fucking spam that bitch until you're fucking dead. And literally spin the fucking wheel because there's only three ways you can attack. You can attack up, left, or right. And they will literally just spin their left fucking or right thumbstick or whatever it is. Can't remember right now. Um, for the direction you'll be hitting, they'll just fucking spin that bitch and just hit the light attack over and over and over till you're fucking dead. Um, so a lot of characters are a little bit overpowered, which kind of sucks, but right now I'm playing Berserker, and I really want to learn how to play better with her. Um, which today was a bit a good learning experience. One of our friends, um, he actually, which is actually Edward, uh, the guy that's joining us a little bit in Borderlands 2, and will be joining us in Borderlands 3. Um, when we, by the way, when we play Borderlands 3, it will be me, Ken, Nate, and Edward. Um, they're cool as fuck. I love those guys. They're awesome. Fucking great friend group. For real. Fucking makes, make me happy, dude. They're great fucking friends. But um, Edward's really good at the game. he uh, been playing the game since it first dropped. So he taught me a little bit of stuff. Still trying to get better at the game. And, uh, so while I have some free time trying to get better and so I can be a fucking powerhouse when we play, I definitely got better from the first day, um, them teaching me in, uh, duels, just fucking, uh, teaching me how to do certain attacks, how to block certain things, shit like that, just being better at the game. So playing the story mode and finishing the training will do me a lot better when we squad up to go into games and I could be a fucking powerhouse. Um, so yeah, playing a little bit for honor. Apex Legends. It's just boring right now, dude. Battle Pass was terrible. Not really that fucking happy to grind for. Literally 5, 10, 15, 20, so on. You really don't get anything for those tiers. The multiples of 5, you don't get anything for those tiers, really. That kind of sucks. The good thing, though, is that you can chain. Uh, I'll literally only spend $10 on Apex Legends. And that's all I would get. Because uh, during the Battle Pass, you unlock tiers where you get uh, extra uh, their in-game store credit or whatever and by the end of the season you will have enough to be able to get the next season and kind of like a Fortnite deal so i will take advantage of that but the game is just not fun right now it's boring literally the only fun thing we've gotten was octane and that was a while ago <laughs> i guess there was supposed to be a new legend that's been going around but is boring right now literally they fucking nerfed the peacekeeper now we got people running around with the evas fucking just fucking people up with the eva um peacekeeper not even useful anymore mastiff not even useful anymore um i don't know i need more content in that game the map has been updated there is no new map just bland dry and boring it's just boring. I want more. It doesn't need to be updated every week like Fortnite. But I need something, dude. The game's been out for a while now. And we've only gotten a few fucking patches. And to strive in this new gaming era, you need to update your game. Just look at how hard Black Ops 4 suffered. And now look at how much they're updating that game. They are updating the shit out of that game. Because they know that game is dying. But. I don't know. Apex Legends. 
needs something fresh, something fresh. That's why H1Z1 died. It just, nothing was fresh. Nothing was new. They said that there was going to be new guns during season one. There's nothing. We've only gotten one fucking legend. We've only gotten one game since the release, the Havoc, and that gun is fucking terrible. Um... It's just, the nerfs that they've done is just terrible. Bangalore is just kind of unusable. They nerfed her when she didn't need a nerf. Um, Rafe did need a nerf with the f little ghost. But I think she needs to be buffed because you can really just track her. Like, her little into the void. Um... Tactical is just not useful. Same with Mirage. Mirage is just obsolete now. I guess the only thing is uh, with the uh, fucking decoy, that's still good. You still kind of fuck people up with that. But his ult is just, you know exactly where he is. But I don't know. Peacekeeper didn't need a nerf at all. Just, I don't know, man. Been playing zombies, shit like that. Make sure to go follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash the TDG2000, all lower, uh, all lowercase, just like my YouTube. Make sure you're, you go follow me, hit the notification so you know when I go live, because I just randomly go live playing zombies. And right after I'm done which, with this video, which is going to be pretty much soon, I'm going to end this here. Um, but I'm going to go be playing for honor. Um, and then, yeah, hit post notifications for my YouTube just so you know when I post a video and when you know I'm going live and shit like that. So I'm going to get out of here, go start up my stream for for honor, go grind a little bit. And I love you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Hit that post notification bell. See you guys later. Join me on the stream. Streaming at Twitch. Twitch.tv slash the TDG2000. Love you guys. Peace.